All right, here's the next project, uh, Polaris Ranger with the 800 cc. Um, it's decided to kill itself, so we're gonna take it out and rebuild it. So we already took the head off to assess the damage. I mean, if you can unbolt stuff, you can take the head off. So when we get it out, we're gonna have to, first thing we're gonna have to do is zip out these, uh, what size are these? These are what? Three eighths? Yeah, three eighths bolts on the torque converter here. There we go. Now we gotta take these springs off to free this up. All right, here she is. Okay, so now we just gotta take this big bolt off so we can uh, separate the torque converter. All right, so uh, we can't we can't get this off yet. So what we're gonna do is try to get the belt off. That way we can just get the engine and like transaxle apart, uh, and then we'll try. Then we'll get this off on the table. All right, so now we're just gonna get this tube out of here. I think it's just one half inch bolt. Okay, so we're gonna take off these two bolts under here. These hold on the cylinder. And then there's a long one back here. You can't see it right now because it's covered up by that. Alright, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take out the gas tank. Not required, but we like to have some extra room. Okay, because everything's gotta be difficult. We're gonna have to take off this air box to get the gas tank off. Yeah, I have to take those hose clamps. Maybe not. No say. What's Yeah. Alright, so now to remove this whole airbox assembly, we're just gonna jam these torques out. There we go. Like, out of this? Yeah. yeah. Alright, now we're gonna zip this shroud off. Pretty much hold the half the engine, so they're pretty tight. But once you get them cracked, it'll be fine. This one, this one. And then nuts on the other side. Yeah, and that that'll connect the engine to the transmission thing. And you, could, uh, you could also take off the actual engine from the mount, but it's just gonna be easier to get the actual mount off. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Right, so the problem we've run into now is these bolts have to come out, but the shield's in the way. So now we're gonna have to take this off anyways. That way we can get this out of the way and slide these out. All right, now that that part of the torque converter is off, we're just gonna zip out these uh, bolts here. So we can hopefully just kind of bend it back and pull the bolts off. We really don't really want to try to take that off again. All right, so we're gonna reattempt uh, pulling this. Uh, here's our, here's the puller right here, and then uh, here's the, here's the bolt we kind of threw together so that this will sit inside of here. So now we're gonna try to see if it works again because. I think we're gonna have to take this off to get that plastic off. Measures. No, more. Oh, and it like knocks it. Dude, damn it, that's why I was moving, oh no, dude, okay as you can see that didn't go to plan, so we're just going to move on to something else because we're frustrated, uh, we're just going to take that bolt off right there for the exhaust and then we're going to take off this mount here that holds the engine. And we'll go back to our friend here. Bless the Lord. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah, so Alright, so we got the exhaust and stuff out. Um, now, back to our friends, these bolts. I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drill some like access holes in this, and then that way we can just slide these out because we're sick of messing with this. Um, we'll get to it on the workbench, I guess. Perfect. Yep. Number one. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, and then once we get this one out, we're just gonna do the same thing on the bottom. All right, now we're gonna pull the engine out. Uh, I think the best way to do it is gonna go to go through this window right here. All right, so here it is, no longer in there. Um, so the next step is gonna be getting it on the table and getting it reassembled. All right, so it's on the table. Now we're just gonna begin the disassembly process. First thing you're gonna take out is a starter here. I mean, just unbolt, pull it out. So, taking off all the bolts for this uh, side cover to um, get access to the oil pump and the crank. That was easier than that. Yeah. Dude, it's dry. What the heck? Yeah, so this is pretty much as far as we're gonna be able to get today. We're gonna have to order some specialty tools and stuff, like like a flywheel pull or stuff like that before we can break the case open. Um, I think the last thing we're gonna do is just take off this motor mount real, real quick. Easy, just a couple of bolts. Uh, Alright, so it's been about a week now. Um, we're gonna wait on some parts. We got this um, this uh, flywheel puller. So basically on your engine it's gonna go flywheel magneto and then you got your this like casing inside egg casing for like your cam gears and stuff. Um, so we got all that off just unbolting stuff and then you see these like bolts here. Uh, that's to hold the two halves together. So we just got those off um, we're gonna try to separate it in a little bit here, but um, and uh, we've been soda blasting some of the parts that are just to get them really clean. You know, don't want to go through all this work and just slap dirty parts on it. Um, remember, we broke this. Uh, we ordered a another used one, and we uh, just took the best components from both of them and rebuilt it. Yeah, and then we've just been cleaning parts. Um, so now we're gonna try to break this open. Yep. All right, so this is really stuck together. Um, what we're assuming is these are like hammer points, like our spread points to try to, like, you know, distribute the load to get them uh, press apart. Um, we're gonna keep working on this. <laughs> All right, so what we found is the best way to do it is old friend the air hammer. So the hard part is it the glue is kind of like you got to break the seal on the every time you hammer it apart it wants to come back together right, so once you get it separated a little bit you can shove something in here to get away and now we're just trying to pry it apart get it to separate completely so we've we're having issues with the separation process here um, we're really close but the problem is there's a seam right here behind all the gears and I think if we remove the oil pump here, then we'll be able to um, get a look at it a little bit better. There's just some hex bolts in there, and then you unscrew them, slide it out. It's kind of sketchy. All right, so we got the oil pump out, and that didn't show us anything. So now we're going to take the balancer gear off, or whatever it is. Um, we're going to try to use our puller here we used for the cam. We've had some bad experience with pullers, so... I got a nervous. Those sketchy puller. Yeah, but hopefully this will work. Alright, so now we're gonna try to I pull know. it off with impact. If it doesn't come off in like the first second. 
Hey! <laughs> okay, well, we got it. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, so... <laughs> Oh, All right. Um, no, no. Oh, no. do as we don't don't do any like w before you try to do anything. Watch, watch, because eventually we'll figure it out. Maybe you should tell and it. there are two bolts right here, so do not try to separate this hey, without no. undoing these two okay. bolts. Okay. Holy hey! <laughs> that got really hot. Yeah, you can see the balloon. Like, holy crap! That should not be good. That That's. That's not good. Oh man, that's some custom paint work right there. Like, uh, we need to tell the guy who owns this, cause like... <laughs> that's not good. Okay, so, um, now we're just gonna pop these out, you know. Pop the crank out, pop all this stuff off, pop the cam out. So, all the engine parts are clean and, cleaned and prepped. Um, we're just waiting on a couple small parts so we can start reassembly. But, that should be coming in the next video. We'll see. Anyway, be sure to subscribe.